You all may have heard of the website called Shein, which sells a lot of fashion items. But did you know it also sells anime merchandise and figures? Well, Danny Neymar did, and he commented on one of my videos and asked if I could order some Dragon Ball figures from Shein. So I said, yes, I will definitely consider it, have a look at it. And I let him know that, yes, I have purchased some items of Dragon Ball from Shein. Now, of course, we're working on a budget here, and Shein kind of comes across along the lines of places like AliExpress, Wish, and Timu. So I'm not really expecting these to be real, but I highly doubt they are, but you never know what's going to happen. And of course, working on a budget, I worked out on a budget of about £30, which is about $40, $45. Now, I did get these items a little bit cheaper, because at the end, I did find a discount code, which gave me about £4 off. Again, about 6 or so dollars off the price, which of course, really did help. So, Danny Neymar, this is for you. Let's have a look at these items we got from Sheen for Dragon Ball. And say hello to Bam Bam while you're at it. Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. And yes, we have some items from Sheen. We're going to unbox, have a look and see if they're any good. Are they going to be worth it? Let's hope so. Now, I am not a massive fan of Dragon Ball. I do like some of the characters. I haven't fully seen it all. So I'm not going to remember half the characters' names. I know I normally don't anyway, because I'm stupid and I'm silly and my mind doesn't work that way. But I will do my very best for you and I'll have a look at these. So let's just take it off. We'll all go dive into this box. I'll get the first one out. This feels like it's actually in a box as well, and it is. This comes fully in a box. Uh, I'm guessing this is meant to be um, Vegeta, not Vegetto. Unless it's spelled that way now for what I know. I, I could be completely wrong. But I can see straight away. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no chance this is an official figure because the print quality on this box is just not good at all. Very dark, very faded. Now, say for Gito, I could be wrong about that. That might be, com I could have that completely wrong and that could be the correct spelling, but I don't think it is. But you will know more than me, so let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, it is very dark. An official thing wouldn't have something this dark where you can't properly see the character on it. All these warnings, other than that one, is all stickers. There's no real mention on the bottom there, no warnings or anything like that, so we'll just open it straight up. I'll show you that quickly, you might see there, it actually doesn't look too bad in the box. So yes, well, let's open it up and see exactly how he looks. But I do have to admit, I do like how it came in this box. And I will put all the prices up on screen as we go. It's been a few weeks, I can't remember the top of my head, and of course I'm using my phone as well. They get this top down shot, so I can't double check on the app there either. But this is nicely packaged, let's get the knife out because of tape going more or less all around it. Well, something just fell off straight away. Now, question is, where did this fall off from? Nope, I cannot tell where on earth this came from. Is there something in the base? Wait, is that something in the base there? We don't know, it's an extra part. It's a mystery, it is an extra part of the ability going on there. But let's take a closer look at Vegito. And to be honest, Yes, you can see straight away there's been paint knocked onto there. Quite a rush job in the painting, so some of that would be quite easy to avoid if you are careful. The face itself, not overly bad. Transfers are pretty decent. The white is pops a lot sometimes on these. The white can be quite faded. Hair looks decent. No real issues with the mold lines. All the builties around them, all like these all these swooshes and stuff like that, other than the one that fell off. Pretty decent. And again, it's not super sharp. The moulding isn't perfect. Uh, the hands are where you see the main issues. If I try to get it there, I'll get some photos up as well, try to get a hold of that hand as well. That's where the mould is really starting to not quite work. Pose though, quite nice pose. Uh, it seems like he's kind of, it could be the wrong move for finger, but the Kamea Kamea, it could, I think that's what he's kind of like powering up to. I say, I don't know as much about Dragon Ball, but I can still appreciate how popular it is, how much people like it, and of course, the figures themselves. I was watching just different stuff at the time when I first got into anime, but I think Vegeta, Vegeta, uh, in this case, sorry, Vegeta, is actually looking pretty decent. Maybe I should just put it on his, let's put that there. Should I give him like a ponytail? There we go, just give him a nice, that work? Nice ponytail? Could work. Other than that box, I think that is a pretty good start. I th I th yeah, I think that is pretty decent. Definitely not a real figure, definitely unofficial, definitely a bootleg or a knockoff. However you want to do it, different version. This is, it's decent enough. We have definitely seen much, much worse. Now we've got a big package 
this was a bundle one of lots of different characters. I think there was an option between some like eight and 16 or 10 and 14 or something along those lines. Can't remember which one I ordered. The bigger or the smaller version. But let's open this up and see what all these different characters are actually like. I think it might be safe to say I got the bigger version. We have lots and lots and lots. And remember right, this wasn't too badly priced. About seven, eight-ish pounds, about 12-ish dollars for something along the lines. I think it was something like that. Put up screen here to confirm that. I could be completely out, but I think it's around about there. We've got Vegeta and Goku and more Vegetas and Gokus and Super Saiyans. Um, we've got duplicates. No, we don't just have to. Some that look similar but slightly different poses. Definitely got quite a lot. So give me a second, we'll open all these up, stand them all up, and we'll take a closer look. Overall, at all, I'm not going to look too much into every individual one, because there is. Well, that was an ordeal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 figures. Now, that is just insane, and I know that I didn't pay actually that much for these. Now, if you were getting these in something like um, a Gachapon or something like that, you'd probably be paying around four four pounders or something like that maybe about five six dollars per one maybe if you're lucky maybe two or three pound three or four dollars that kind of thing so straight away value for money is definitely there yes these are definitely not official i can say straight away by some of the quality of these the paint job in these yes the small individually packed and they are probably a cheaper made one anyway but still that level of detail isn't there compared to say some like the chibi masters uh, that i have four you have issues with the molding of even the stands where there's lots of excess plastic over it some of the characters look pretty decent for what they are and others really not so much some of them look pretty dire but for example if you had a kid who was getting into dragon ball in the anime in general and just wanted something a big bundle like this for next to nothing is definitely ideal even if, if you're a hardcore fan and you don't have the money to go out and spend loads and loads on figures but still want something i think this is still a really good haul from shane at a really decent price and especially if you manage to get an online discount code which will work at the time the one i used will be expired by now because uh, it was only for i think i said that when i went and got it, it was about three or four days left on it lucky you managed to get the work so just have a look online you'll probably be able to find something to give yourself a discount I will take some photos of these, some more close-ups as I'm talking here and showing them. But you've got lots and lots of different versions. There's definitely Vegeta and uh, Goku here and different versions of Super Saiyan and Saiyan and all this kind of thing. So there's lots and lots and lots there. 21 figures for next to nothing. Not doing too bad. Now I think we've got two more to go, which these are going to get slightly bigger. So we'll leave them ones out there. And we'll see what else we managed to get a hold of. Oh, and this, yes, yeah, this is one of the ones I wanted to get a hold of to see how good it is. Because, yes, I say I might not be the biggest fan of Dragon Ball. I do love dragons, though. And I do have the Shenron Funko Pops, the big, huge one as well. Because I really like it. I've got my little tiny one as well from the Funko Pop um, I have Dragon Ball calendar. So, of course, when looking in as well, I had to get shenron as well same as the others i will put the price up on screen so you can have a look and see what i actually paid for shenron so shenron himself and then we've got the stand there with the dragon balls so you've got the stand there where the dragon balls are actually going to go in they don't have any of the symbols on them they're just kind of like little marbled kind of things and we've got three different stands for shenron so i'm going to quickly figure out which way these go in order to get Shenron to fully stand up. So I'm not actually going to put in the Dragon Balls in this one. Unfortunately, no matter which way I do it, the little stands, they do only go in these holes. They're cut a certain way, so they only go into them ones. And Shenron's going to go in the bottom here. But what does keep on happening is that things just don't fully line up. Now, trying to move things around it just gets in the way of Shenron every single section I put them at. Them little supports do not sit anywhere that they really should do sit. I think he's the molding on this, he's just a little bit bent. I think he's going to be more straightened up. It's just not working no matter which way I do it. I can't get it to really sit in there. So there's no point in putting Dragon Balls into a stand that is not going to be able to work and hold Shenron. But looking at Shenron himself, 
It's a shame because the paintwork and stuff on them isn't actually that bad. It does look fairly decent, fairly good. It's just, it's been badly put together. And I think just, I don't know if just in the, the molding process, or the way it's been put together, or even just this, this, these are just aren't correct for this size. Uh, it's been downscaled, or something, something went wrong, wrong somewhere, which for me, this is not work, no matter what I do. I'm not gonna waste any more time on it. Looks decent, can't put them together. Unfortunately, this is definitely a lose for me. Ripped the shreds there. Not just in body, but in trousers, all ripped, yep. And there he is. Now, taking a closer look here, that face is terrible. That face is pretty terrible. <laughs> the way the hair's over it, that does not look good. The overall molding, muscles and stuff like that, yeah, it, it's possible. It is what it is. Colours of the plastic are all solid, other than on the these shoes there, where they've got the brown painted onto and the gold painted onto, which again isn't great. The translucent hair, not the worst. It's just that face, that face, that face, that face. Not sure about this one. Uh, don't know if I can recommend this one. It's still decent uh, for a bootleg uh, knockoff figure. Definitely not the best. So overall, I think the very first one we got, I mean, that was probably the better overall, not just in quality, in the molding, in the colours, it's definitely best out of all and put together. The best value is that big bundle of 21 figures for almost nothing. So yes, Sheehan is decent. I can't complain about that. It turned up in about two weeks, so it didn't take long to actually get here at all. It's a shame about the Shenron, because I think that would look really cool if it did work, if it did go together. The original of that, I'm going to guess straight off and say the original whether it's going to prize figure or scale model, it's going to look absolutely awesome. Of course, that's a massive difference in price. If you're on a budget or want to get something for your kids, I'd definitely say the 21 piece is the way to go. So, Danny, I hope that helps answer your question and hopefully that will help you give an idea of what you can get from Shane when it comes to Dragon Ball figures. And if any of you have a request out there of stuff that you want me to try and get, I will try my best to get a hold of them, so leave a comment down below. And of course, when you're down there, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button, click the notification bell, so that you can be notified the next time I launch one of these videos. My name is Daniel, this has been Twisted Geek, hope you have an awesome week. That face is still bad though. <laughs> Cheers.